Good morning, traders from United World Capital and Cyprus. I wish you all a good trading day. Yesterday's news were dominated again by the conflict between two of the giants in the smartphones market, uh, Apple and Samsung. Apple saw its best trading day uh, in the New York market yesterday when it reached $680 per share, which is an all-time high. This confirmed uh, that Apple is the leading company in the world volume-wise. Samsung, on the other, high, uh, other hand, is uh, fighting and striving. Apple share, uh, uh, Samsung shares fell 7% during yesterday. It has recovered somewhat in Asia this morning, up 2%, but still the stock is under very strong pressure. Samsung, uh, Samsung has, however, declared that it's going to fight the court decision, which means that no, uh, Apple is banning eight of their phone products in the United States. The competitors in the smartphone market is following this development very closely. Uh, Nokia, uh, Nokia's shares went up 9% in uh, uh, then trading in New York last night. With regards to the currency market, the euro is today again under pressure falling to 124.88 from its high weeks high last week on 125.75. Again, there are speculations around what is going to come from the European Central Bank and also a negative uh, business sentiment index uh, from Germany that uh, makes the euro again very volatile. Uh, the uh, investors, the investors are all of them sitting more or less on the fence for the time being. They are waiting for the uh, meeting on during the uh, during the weekend when Mr. Ben Bernanke, the president of the Federal Reserve, is going to make his speech on uh, Friday, giving indications, hopefully, to the market whether there is going to be then what the markets are expecting monetary easing. Also, uh, the European Central Bank is going to then give a clear ind indication on what, is ha ha what it has up in the sleeve when then Mario Draghi, the president of the European Central Bank, is going to address the same conference on Saturday. The markets are hoping for then a declaration from Draghi saying that the European Central Bank now would start to buy bonds again from the exposed uh, Euro countries like Spain and Portugal. Angela Merkel, the German Chancellor, uh, who has been against this uh, policy, is now taking a much more lenient stand while the chairman of the German Central Bank said yesterday that this is not a good idea, this is like a drug injection to a sick patient. With regards to oil prices, which yesterday saw new highs for, the, uh, for this, part of the, for this uh, last quarter, uh, they are falling back again to 112 for Brent crude and 96 for New York crude after it turns out that uh, the um, storm warnings uh, against uh, Isaac was not as serious as firstly announced. Also uh, other uh, commodities are falling back this morning. Copper is down and also gold uh, is down from the high yesterday to 1621. Also, silver is down from 31.50, which it reached at its peak yesterday to 30.60 this morning. I expect to see volatility in the market up till the point where uh, we would have a clear indications from two of the key 
players for the time being, Mr. Bernanke and Mr. Draghi. So we have to wait up till the weekend to see what these gentlemen have up in their sleeves. I wish all of you a very good trading day from Cyprus. Thank you.